everyone Monroe Steel here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another Los Angeles to New York City vlog make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion beauty lifestyle and travel videos all right so this is the second part of the LA vlog today is Sunday and Maria and I are up bright and early to shoot a few looks around the hotel this hotel is stunning if you want more details watch the previous the, the previous vlog um, we're staying at proper downtown LA and I just have to take advantage of the incredible Kelly Wurstler design here so we're gonna shoot a few looks you guys would have seen this sheer brown dress in one of my previous videos um, I think it was like six spring dress brands that I'm loving at the moment so yeah make sure to check this dress out I'll link it down below we're gonna shoot this a swimsuit look maybe another dress and a few pieces that I got in from local European which I discovered the brand maybe like two or three years ago um, and they had these incredible dresses and I wore them in a few vlogs and you guys love them so I'm gonna show you some new end pieces from them uh, that I think you all will love and then we'll get started with the day. I do have a dinner tonight at Catch, kind of starting my birthday celebrations. Um, and I have some friends in town, so it's going to be a fun last day in LA before we head to New York tomorrow. Uh, so without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into shooting all of my fashion looks here at Proper Hotel. So we are back from shooting. It was super fun. Let me run through everything that we shot. We started with this beautiful sheer brown dress by the brand Sir The Label, one of my favorite uh, brands for spring and summer dresses. I've linked this down below for you guys. I got this from My Teresa. If you were to watch my uh, best spring and summer dresses brands that I'm loving. And I paired it with some Saint Laurent sandals and my Gucci tote. That was really fun. And then we headed to the roof of this hotel, which has an, an amazing pool. And the pool is heated, which is great because it can get really like chilly here in LA. And I shot a halter top Norma Kamali swimsuit with a Acme Studios uh, like scarf tied in a sarong. I absolutely love this bathing suit. It's very flattering. Uh, it is pretty, it's cut pretty high, but it is full coverage on the bottom and on the front as well. And I'm wearing a medium in that. Finally, we shot, uh, oh, 
the sheer Norma Kamali dress with my acne biker jacket up in the bar on the rooftop here. It's called Kara Kara. I've taken you guys there to eat in the previous LA vlog, so check it out if you want to see it. It's so beautiful at night when they have like all of the fires going. And then finally, let's get into all of the pieces that I got from Local European. You guys have to check them out. I have quite a few dresses from them, but they're older. Uh, so we started with these, which are the gray parachute cargo pants. They have a drawstring. I'm wearing them in a, I believe a medium large. Yes, I'm wearing them in a medium large, but they look huge but you can cinch in the waist really well. They have a lot of pockets and they have a little fun drawstring detail at the bottom as well. And a zipper here with a snap closure. And I like how they hang pretty low. The quality of these is really great as well. They have pockets on the back. I just love how these look. Cargo pants are really in. These are an amazing quality and they fit really well. They look really cool on. Uh, and you would have seen me in these and I paired it with this metallic halter top which is also from local European and in this top I believe I'm wearing a medium it's really really fun I hope you can see the fabric and I like how the fabric just plays on the cargo pants you tie this in the back and then you tie it around uh, your neck and I do believe this top is on sale so I'll be sure to link the top down below along with the cargo pants also the cargo pants also come in black but I love this beautiful gray and I hope the color is coming across pretty true to you all uh, and then after we shot that look on the street we then went to LACMA um, it's a place here in LA. Everyone goes there. <laughs> they have the little lamp post. It's like an LA staple and I definitely wanted to get some photos there. And I wore this little Zara top and I paired it with this olive green cargo skirt from local European. This is like one of their top selling cargo skirts. If you love a good midi skirt, this one is for you. I also love that it has a little slit on the side. Let me show you because I am wearing it. Okay, so here is the skirt. It does have a little slit on the side and I love the undone hems. But I am wearing a large in this skirt and it fits well. So I would suggest probably sizing up one size. The medium would have definitely been a little too small for me, but the large fits perfect. So I'll be sure to link this skirt down below. It's one of their best sellers. And it's just really fun and chic and elevated without trying too hard. So special thank you to Local European for partnering with me on this portion of the video and also for sending me these incredible pieces. I will link the cargo pants. I will link the uh, metallic top, which is really, really cute. This is great for summer and the best-selling cargo skirt you've probably seen this cargo skirt all over instagram and it's worth it okay i will link all of the pieces from them down below along with a few others that i'm loving from their website so you all can check them out so yeah that was a really fun shoot we are back in the hotel and i'm gonna head down and try and get today's youtube video up it is Sunday and I'm three hours behind and so the video is going up a little bit later. Normally I try to get it up super early, but we had to get this shoot in. Oh, by the way, the lip is Rihanna uh, MVP. I'm wearing my Bottega earrings. Everything that you saw me shoot in, I've linked down below for you guys. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna head down to the restaurant downstairs. I haven't eaten at that one yet. I think it's called Casa Verde. And we're going to have some breakfast. I'm craving eggs. I'm craving bacon. I'm going to grab my computer and take it with me so I can get this video up. Do a thumbnail for you all. And then I'm, I need to post something on Instagram. So I think I'm going to do like a dump of my first couple of days here in LA to alert people that my packing for LA video is up. All right. So that's what we're going to do. And then later on... We're gonna have dinner at uh, Catch. 
like a, a cute little birthday dinner. So let's go downstairs and get this video up. I'm wearing the same outfit to head down to the restaurant. My New York Yankee hat, you can get it at Amazon. Zara top, local European skirt that I've linked down below for you guys. Remember, size up. I'm normally a medium, but I'm wearing a large. And these cute little Melissa sandals. I love these things. They have come in so handy during this trip. And my Bottega Jody bag. There's also a great dupe of this bag at Anthropology. So let's go downstairs, let's do some work, and let's get some food in us. a working brunch I had a brunch down at the restaurant downstairs it, it's called Casa Verde I believe it was actually really good I got the eggs it came with this arugula salad y'all know how I feel about arugula it's delicious um, and I just got some coffee a, a juice and I really worked on getting today's YouTube video up which was the packing for uh, LA and NYC video. I'm already getting such great feedback. Thank you guys to all of you who post I mean to all of you who comment on all of my videos like I love seeing your screen names pop up and you guys are just so uh, Supportive and I really really appreciate it. I also got so many compliments on my local European green cargo skirt So I'm happy that I could tell a few people about it um, So yeah, the videos up I put up a little like LA photo dump to commemorate the video and that's doing really well too. So I am done working for today uh, and now I get to play. Uh, so Maria is gone. She went to go meet a friend for lunch. So I think I want to do some shopping, you know, when in LA, I think I want to go to Rodea Drive. I definitely want to check out what goes around comes around and see what they have here um just a little light shopping see what we can see uh and then we'll come back here and we'll get ready for dinner tonight i actually don't know what i'm gonna wear tonight i was thinking i might wear one of the pieces from the upcoming something by sanji monroe steel collection i'm loving um uh, the jersey dress that can be worn off the shoulder, one shoulder or as a um, halter, like a cow neck. It's so like feminine and just, I feel so, I feel beautiful in that dress. I feel super sexy and elegant and chic. And so I might wear that tonight. We'll see. I did bring another dress, but I think, you know, I have to be my own, um, what is it? Like, advertiser for this collection uh so i want to go ahead and start wearing the pieces so you all can see how i incorporate them into my wardrobe it's a really great capsule collection yeah so it's about one o'clock now so i have about three hours you guys okay so i'm looking out the window and there must be something in the water in la because all the men are tall can someone please explain this to me like all the men, all the men are tall. They're all like six foot something. All of them. Everyone that I've seen. And they're all very good looking. Am I in the wrong city? Let me know what y'all think in the comments. For, 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 for my girlies who actually live in LA, how are the men so tall? I mean, I love this for y'all, I really do. And I've been seeing some tings out here. It, from the moment I stepped off the plane, it was tings everywhere. I might have to spend some time here this summer, y'all. For real, for real. Okay, I'm probably going to wear this same look because I don't feel like changing. But I'm definitely going to pop on my Celine sneakers, 
my acne leather jacket because it's cold like i can't it's the weather for me and not in a good way like it's the weather for me as in why i won't move here <laughs> it's may why is it freezing make it make sense please anywho i will check back in when i'm all dressed and ready to go we're gonna call an uber the ubers here are so expensive they worse than new york like you gotta be rich to live here super duper rich i can't even tell y'all how much it cost me to get from the airport to this hotel <laughs> it was crazy crazy all right i'll check in with you guys when we are off to go shopping y'all do some shopping what's gonna be in this vlog all right guys we're gonna keep on this same look zara top i'm gonna pop on some perfume the Te noir 29 from la labo i like how this smells in la not that it smells different but i don't know it gives me a little something something i'm gonna mix it with the joseph duclo if you're interested in any of the things i'm wearing in this video make sure to watch the what i pack for la nyc video that came out um i think before my la vlog i want to take some sunglasses i mean it's kind of sunny i'm gonna pop my jacket on from acne studios there are a ton of dupes of these though like at places like mango asos yeah love that and i think i'm just gonna wear my sneakers my celine sneakers because i'm gonna be doing quite a bit of walking I'm gonna grab my Bottega and I think we're ready to go. Let me pop on my sneakers. All right, y'all, so here is the look. Sorry about the mess in the background. Still wearing the local European skirt in a large. Just popped on my Celine sneakers. And this is the look, very chill. I think first off is going to be what goes around comes around uh, to check out like the luxury um, designer consignment items and then we'll pop around Rodeo, see what we can find and head back here. guys just leaving what goes around comes around and it was amazing in there i got a few pieces i'm gonna head to rodeo drive now and see what i can find so yeah it's so nice out today too
wait, where's the light? There it is, hey light. Look who we have here. Hello, it's me. <laughs> International, <laughs> international babes. So crazy, and you're catching me. I leave tomorrow morning for a, 30, for a one month trip. Well, let's wish her a great trip and a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Get in here. It's Maria. Rodeo Drive and shopping in Beverly Hills. I popped into What Goes Around Comes Around. They have two stores in Soho in Manhattan and the last time I was here in LA I went and they had some really good pieces. So let me show you what I got. I ended up getting this vintage Jean-Paul Gaultier dress. It is a camouflage dress. You would have seen me try this on in the store of course it's like that sheer fabric you can wear it off the shoulder or on the shoulder and then it has this little net detailing y'all know i love a camouflage so it looks really good on it's really nice so that's what i got from what goes around comes around and then i also got a bag i got this Louis Vuitton bag, I believe it's from 20, 2002, I think, or 2012 uh, collection. It is the, is it embossed or debossed? It's a debossed uh, brown leather, I think this is caviar leather, bag. And I love the cylindrical shape. It comes with a lock and a key inside of here. And I just thought this was really cute. I love brown. I have quite a few pair of brown shoes. There is silver hardware, and you guys know I've been wearing these silver Bottega earrings. But it's very, very spacious on the inside. On the inside, it has this black leather pouch here. It does come with a shoulder strap that I will probably never use because I'm not really too much of a crossbody shoulder strap kind of girl when the bag is this small um but yeah it's quite spacious on the inside it has felt and leather it's very very cute and i when i saw it i just thought it was really fun i don't have a bag this shape i really wanted like one of the silver ones that they had like the smaller cylindrical silver bags but they were out of those but this brown leather is very chic and fun so yeah those are the two things that i got and i even kind of realized i can wear them together because this is brown this is brown so definitely check out what goes around comes around i just got this uh really cute bag from them i haven't shown it yet so let me not talk about it i'll have to do a video of like what i got for my birthday and i'll show you guys the bag that i got for my birthday from what goes around comes around on sale they're having a mother's day sale and i believe this video will go live on mother's day so some of their clothing is 20 20 percent off and their bags are some bags are 30 percent off so head on over to their website what goes around comes around.com and check out what they have because they do have some really cool like limited edition um, vintage pieces that are very unique. I love this bag. Okay, 
after shopping i went in a few different places i went into gucci i went into chanel i went into louis vuitton uh Saint Laurent, Bottega, pretty much all of the, the whole strip on Rodeo. I met up with Maria and then we went to Ocean Prime and had some drinks and some crispy rice with tuna. It's pretty good. Makoto is better in Miami, but still, it was delicious. My drink was really, really good. I love that bubbling drink. I got it the last time I was in Miami. So I'll put all of the details down below in the description box you can check out these places we're just gonna rest for a minute and then head to catch la on melrose just for a quick little birthday dinner janae is in town so she's gonna meet us there sanji's coming and we're just gonna have a little girls night out and i think i'm gonna wear this dress you've already seen it at least twice in two other videos it's this jean paul gautier Y project collaboration dress and it's so fun I haven't had a chance to wear it anywhere so I think tonight will be the perfect occasion to wear it I'll link it down below um, I'm wearing a 36 in this so I'll check back in when I'm dressed and ready to head to catch and then we'll probably just segue right into New York because we're flying out pretty early in the morning and I have an event as soon as I land so a very fruitful day of shopping on Rodeo I'm very pleased with my purchases all right guys I'll check back in soon <sighs> all right guys got myself together same acne jacket same bag I put on this Jean-Paul Gaultier dress I'll I'll show you in the mirror in a sec but yeah we're about to head to catch Sanji is actually picking us up um, her studio is not too far from here and we're gonna have a lovely dinner. And yeah, let's do it. Let me show you the outfit. All right guys, sorry it's a little bright. Here's the look, here's the dress. You've seen it before. Uh, I'm wearing my Saint Laurent heels. Kind of tie these up. These are the black ones. And that is the look for tonight. Just pretty chill. Uh, you could probably see it better in here but you all have seen this quite a bit so that's the look I topped off my lip which is the Fenty Icon MVP and last night in LA
Good morning, y'all. So as you can see, we are back in New York. We're back in Harlem. It's not so bright and early, but I have been working all morning. So yesterday morning at 6 a.m., we flew out of Los Angeles first thing. Uh, and as soon as we got here to New York, I had an event to attend with Harlem's Fashion Row and Kate Spade. They co-hosted a dinner here in Harlem to celebrate um, HBCU Fashion Summit with Bowie State University. Um, and they were honoring a few of the students in their fashion program, as well as uh, a professor who came with them. Uh, so it was really, really fun. I actually worked with Kate Spade for this event. So uh, they messengered over some outfits, like literally got off the plane, came straight to my apartment, got the clothes messenger to me, had to create a reel, went and shot the look, and then went straight to the dinner. So I'm actually going to rewind it back to yesterday, um, getting off the plane and preparing and taking you guys with me to this event with Harlem's Fashion Row and Kate Spade. Um, and then we'll come back here. <laughs> this morning I was actually making the reel and editing the photos so that this campaign can go live. But let me rewind it back to yesterday and then we'll come back and talk about the event. All right guys, I just filmed my reel for Kate Spade. They messengered over like five dresses, in fact, let me show you the looks that they messenger over because they're all super cute. All right, guys, just got messengered some Kate Spade pieces for the event tonight. We also have some shoes, I believe. And I think a bag is in here as well. So we're heading to a dinner. Here I am. <laughs> I need to do my makeup. Um, but we're heading to a dinner with Harlem's Fashion Row and Kate Spade, New York to celebrate um, the 2022 Fashion Summit, which is like a fashion program. It's currently going on at Bowie State University for their senior designers. And what it does is it puts the students in contact with the executives and the designers at uh, Kate Spade, New York, so they can kind of be mentored and learn things. Um, and I think that is such a great program, especially if you are in, in fashion. So, as you can see, we're back in New York with all of the sounds of New York. And I'm a little bit flustered because I just got this in. And the dinner is in maybe like 45 minutes. And I have to shoot a reel and photos before attending the dinner. So, yeah, I'm going to quickly do my makeup. Um, I'm going to pick one of these looks. I think there's four or five dresses in here. We're going to create a get ready with me reel. We're going to go out and shoot it. And then I'm going to head to the event and take you guys with me. All right, so let me get my makeup together and I'll check back in soon. So we have this dress with this beautiful flower motif. Uh, we have this like pink, pale pink, like linen dress that's tiered, super long and cute. And then I like this dress as well. It's like a blue and yellow. Um, it's kind of like a... A baby doll dress and I love a good baby doll dress and then they ended up sending me three bags this one here which is very very cute I'll be sure to link 
all of these things down below in case any of you are interested so that's bag number one and then this is bag number two they're all very chic and I like this like patent leather look and then let me show you the outfit and the bag that I actually went with I'm a little backlit so let's go to the other room so I ended up going with this dress which is a pink cut out a line midi dress it's very cute you can wear the sleeves on or off the shoulder I prefer off and they also sent over these really beautiful like pink platform raffia sandals they're very comfortable and they match the, the dress so that's perfect and let's look at the bag that I ended up going with I really like the shape of this bag so I really like the shape and it's pretty fun I feel like it goes with my outfit well so I will link all three bags all of the dresses I'm wearing a size 6 in this dress by the way and then I'll go ahead and pop in my uh, reel that I created for them so you all can see but other than that I'm gonna take you to the dinner we're gonna see some of the some of the designs by the seniors that are graduating from Bowie State in the fashion department uh, and have a good time with Kate Spade, New York, and Harlem's Fashion Row. So, that's the look. Let's go. I'm back in Harlem and heading to a dinner co-hosted by Kate Spade, New York, and Harlem's Fashion Row to celebrate the 2022 HBCU Fashion Summit with Bowie State University and to recognize their year-long partnership. Now, when it came to my outfit, I knew this pink midi dress and matching platforms from Kate Spade, New York would be perfect for the occasion, and I topped it off with this chic black bag. I'm ready for an unforgettable evening of fashion, inspiration, and celebration. Outside of Donna, they made sure I 
I knew who I was, and I can build that confidence. I think I think we couldn't pierce our ears till we were 13. I couldn't wear makeup till 18. At the event, I saw my girl Any, Any Given Sunday on Instagram. Uh, Joan Smalls was, was there, Hannah Brothman, my girl Kayla Walker, of course, Brandis Daniel, founder of Harlem's Fashion World, was there. I got to meet uh, the CEO at Kate Spade, a few people from the design team. It was wonderful, and the food was so good. There were these chicken, chicken dumplings. Oh, they were so delicious, and mushroom risotto. Yeah, if you're ever in Harlem, definitely check out Renaissance Harlem food was a one and it was really nice to see all of the designs as well from the graduating students at Bowie state university um i do believe kate spade like donated some like leathers and fabrics for them to use for their senior project so i thought that was really really cool we also got a little gift bag so i want to show you what i got from the event um we got this super cute kate spade tote i love all of the colors on this um first up and i told you guys about this book this is the hfr harlem's fashion road fashion and color volume one book and it's so good i went to a chat with uh bevy smith and brandis daniels not too long ago it was right at the beginning of new york fashion week uh where they talked about this book and i'm so happy to have it it's basically an encyclopedia of black designers from A to Z and they're gonna come out with more volumes as well this is just volume one but I will link this down below in case you're interested it is an incredible coffee table book um, and 10% of the proceeds of this book goes to the icon 360 which is a non a nonprofit that funds black designers and HBCU fashion departments uh I want to thumb through it a little bit so you guys can Okay, also in this gift bag, we have a book by Aurora James. It is Wildflower, her memoir. She was also actually at the event last night as well. I didn't get a chance to speak to her, but I'm a huge fan of her brand, Brother Bellies. Uh, so yeah, I definitely want to dig into this book because she's just incredible. Um, and then we got this little gift was like on the table for each of the placemats. It's this beautiful little box. I don't know what this is. Is it jewelry or is it a pin? Let's see. I have a card there. I think it's a bangle. Oh, it is. Look at this bangle. And it's green. I don't know if you guys know, but green is, it used to be my favorite color for a really long time. And it still is. I need to figure out how to open this. <laughs> I figured it out. You just press it and it releases it. But this is great for spring. I love it. So shout out to the Kate Spade team for bringing me on. As well as Harlem's Fashion Row. You guys know I love working with Harlem's Fashion Row. They recently launched their website hfrandco.com where you can shop all black designers in one place. Uh, so definitely check them out and I think this program the HBCU fashion summit program is so needed to like bridge the gap between um, up-and-coming young talent and designers and getting them access to just people who know what's going on in the industry leaders um designers executives that can really help shape and mold them as young entrepreneurs so yeah i had a great time at the event shout out to kate spade and harlem's fashion row can't wait to dig into this book by aurora so yeah that was a, a a fun time and today is mainly just like a free day but not really <laughs> i'm so tired y'all i mean the hopping off a play a, a four and a half hour plane ride from la to new york and then going to an event and really having to work um it's a lot but i'm grateful 
I am very, very happy. I'm getting so much work and I'm getting to work with such incredible brands. I've never worked with Kate Spade before, so I'm, I'm thrilled. Uh, by the way, head on over to my Instagram and check out the reel that I did for them. Drop your girl three rare hearts so I know you came from this video and thank you for the support. Uh, today we chill. I actually need to edit the photos and videos I took of my um, local European pieces that I showed you guys when I was in LA. Um, the cargo pants, the metallic top, and that incredible like green, olive green uh, cargo skirt. I need to edit the photos and the pictures and send it to them today because I believe they want it to go live tomorrow or at least sometime in the next few days. So I'm gonna get started working on that. And I think tomorrow I'm having a little birthday dinner at Omar's Kitchen, one of my favorite Jamaican Caribbean restaurants here in the city. And then I have a brand campaign with uh, Mugler Fragrances and Michael Kors. So a very busy trip. We fly right back out and the next day is my boat day for my birthday. So. This is like the busiest week ever, but I want to really give you guys a rundown of how all of this works and realistically, like I'm working a lot, but I get to relax next week. So we work hard now. We play hard later. All right. Oh, I do want to show you guys what I got from Janae during my birthday dinner, because I believe after the birthday dinner at Catch LA, food was incredible um with all of the girls sanji maria and janae uh she gave me this beautiful gift and i showed it to you all but i didn't speak about it so let's head to my room i'll show you what she got me for my birthday and we'll talk about it a bit all right guys so for my birthday janae got me this perfume it's called midnight special um and i believe they're based in paris i had never heard of this brand before it's x Nahilo. If you've heard about this brand, sound off below and let me know. Um, but this smells so good. Of course, it's kind of like almost like a unisex smell. There's definitely like a tobacco type of oud, a little bit peppery and a little sweet. I've never really smelled anything like this and it came packaged so beautifully. Um, I don't even know where the box is. It's packed away somewhere, but ugh smells so good oh if you like like a unisex kind of manly sexy deep mysterious slightly sweet scent this is great i have to look it up and look at the other ones there was another one that she said she really liked as well but they were out of it um and that rihanna had just bought the last <laughs> the last one so now i need to know what that one is uh all right guys so i'm gonna get back to work editing some reels editing photos for um my local european um partnership and remember i have linked all of those things down below i will link all of the kate spade pieces that i showed you down below as well and i will check in with you all tomorrow when we head to my birthday dinner good morning everyone it is a brand new day yesterday i spent working and today we're going to do a shoot it's bright and early it's 7 30. um we're gonna shoot a few things in brooklyn around like the brooklyn bridge um i just wanted to get a little bit of like new york-esque birthday content um so yeah i have a little bit of content from LA, I'll have a little bit from New York and a little bit from Miami that I will post throughout my birthday week, which is next week. Very excited about that. Um, so I have on this little Skims brown dress. Let me take you to the mirror and show you. Hopefully you can see me, I am a little backlit, but this is one of my favorite silk sleep dresses. It has this beautiful like golden brown motif on it. It's from Skims. I also have it in like a sage green um, but it has a little knot here so that it doesn't show anything which is great just a little leg so I'll take you guys with me on the shoot in Brooklyn it should be really fun I think you guys would enjoy it um, and I'll put a little bit of the footage and of course I will link everything that I'm wearing down below I think I'm just gonna shoot like two dresses and just like a regular chill look gonna come back here and try to get the first LA vlog up for you guys which features 
my clothing line with something by Sanji, which will drop on May 19th. Um, yeah, very excited about that video going live today. I also need to edit a few of the photos from our shoot in Joshua Tree so that I can um, post a few things on Instagram as well to let you know everyone know that there's a new YouTube video and in it you can see the collection. So very interested to see what people are going to say about the collection. I think it's the best one we've done yet. So I'm very excited for that today. And then I'm having a little pre-birthday dinner with all of my New York people um, tonight at Omar's Kitchen, which is one of my favorite restaurants here in New York City. I cannot wait to have some oxtail. I need uh, some shrimp doubles. Um, I, I hear that they have like some kind of jerk lamb on the menu now, so I need that too. But yeah, it's gonna be a really fun day. I'll probably end out the vlog today even though I will be in New York for another two days and just start another vlog because I have two jobs here tomorrow with Michael Kors and with Mugler and I think I'll put that at the start of my birthday vlog because the birthday vlog starts this weekend. Did a very basic face today on my eyelids. I have the Dior Show palette, um, the eyeshadow palette. Everyone loves this red and I use it a lot. Um, I'll put all of my uh, favorite makeups from Dior down below. I'm gonna put on a red lip soon. So yeah, let's go to Brooklyn. Let's shoot. Hopefully it's not too crowded where I want to shoot. That should give you a little inkling of where I'm going. But yeah, I'm feeling super good. Just back in Harlem, chilling at home. But I am very much ready to get back to Miami. But don't worry, I'll be back in New York in a in a week and a half. <laughs> so yeah, let's get ready and let's go to Brooklyn.
We left at about 8 a.m. Got to Brooklyn at about 9. We shot on the Brooklyn Bridge my Dior look, my vintage Dior dress and matching bag from the Rasta collection that I got in Paris. That was really, really fun. Everybody was kind of looking at us on the Brooklyn Bridge. And then we kind of walked over to the Dumbo waterfront and we shot my pink dress, the Urban, no the and other stories pink bubble dress with my Loewe balloon sandals um that came out really well you can see both bridges the brooklyn bridge um in the background and then we kind of just walked around dumbo and shot this last look with my hat that i got from amazon bottega earrings fenty mvp lip zara bodysuit and my awake mode denim skirt that I have been itching to actually take photos in. I did wear this to the event in Brooklyn where I did a panel uh, not too long ago with NYC X clothes. Yeah, and so now we're back. We're about to eat. It's almost noon and I'm gonna try and get today's video up. It's the first LA video. I need to do the description box, make a thumbnail. I also want to write a blog post about my LA trip. So that should already be up. If you have any questions about where to stay, where I ate, where I shopped in LA, there is a guide. Um, also the place I stayed in Joshua Tree will be in the guide as well along with a few other places I have previously stayed in Joshua Tree that I think you all would love. So yeah, Guide to LA will be down in the description box. And also sign up for my newsletter. Um, it's been a few years since I've kept up with my newsletter, but now that I have an assistant, it's very it's easier for me to keep up with that. And so the newsletter will go out every Tuesday at 9 a.m. And it will just be a compilation of blog posts of the week, um, any YouTube videos that were posted, any coupon codes that I have with brands, things that I recently purchased. So it, kind of the newsletter, you get the scoop first. Um, anything that like I'm having, any events and things will be in the newsletter. So make sure you subscribe to my newsletter. There is a link down below. Um, I've also linked everything you saw me shoot today down in the description box. Uh, all right. So... Uh, I feel so good. The weather in New York is incredible. I am loving being home. Uh, okay, so t this evening we are going to have dinner with friends. We're going to have a little birthday dinner. And I will check back in with you guys when uh, I'm getting ready for that and heading downtown to Omar's Kitchen for a little birthday soiree with a few friends. But first, we eat because your girl is hungry. All right, guys, now we work. I'm gonna write a blog post. I just ate, changed into this Zara top and these cargo pants from local European. I love them, they're so comfortable. But yeah, we gotta work. The work really never ends, this is a very, busy week for work so i'm not complaining um but yeah i'm about to write a blog post just here got my work station all set up 
downloading well i'm actually uploading the video the first la vlog now yeah by the way if you haven't checked out my blog yet fashion still nyc.com blog post every week uh check it out i've linked it down below y'all look at maria she's giving gen z realness and a new hairstyle she actually went to my girl kita here in harlem um kita's african hair braiding studio on adam clayton powell check her out tell them monroe sent you i'll put her details down below hey y'all so i just got up the first la vlog it is live and then i posted a few photos from the collection so far everyone is loving it at least everyone who instagram is actually showing the post too let's not complain about engagement but girl it's a hard not life for an influencer who has to post on instagram and get good engagement but anywho we're about to head to omar's kitchen one of my favorite caribbean restaurants here in New York City. I'm meeting some friends there. My friend Nigel, Kelly, who else? Gloria, y'all know I love Gloria. Uh, honestly, I really can't even remember who else is coming. But it should be fun. I am wearing my vintage Jean-Paul Gaultier dress. It's a camo dress that I picked up uh, from What Goes Around Comes Around LA. You guys have seen it already but i don't know if you saw me try it on but this is the vibe it's very cute very forgiving it will let me eat as much as i want <laughs> and not worry i am going to spray on a little of the perfume that janae got me for my birthday um she gave this to me at dinner when we were at catch la it is the x Nihilo Midnight Special Perfume. Smells really beautiful. Mm. Um, I don't know if I, I'm gonna wear my brown YSL strappy diva sandals. And I'm not sure if I wanna go with silver or gold, but I might do silver and wear my brand new brown Louis Vuitton bag that I also got at what goes around comes around so the face is just my regular face the lip is like two layers of Fenty MVP I'll link it down below and yeah I feel pretty I'm ready to celebrate my birthday early with my New York people we're gonna have a good time and then I think what we're gonna do is end out this vlog and start a new birthday vlog featuring all of the work I have to do tomorrow. I have a gig with Michael Kors and a gig with, with Mugler. And then we're going to fly to Miami and party on a yacht. Party, yachty, 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 yachty. All right, let me get myself together. I'll show you the full look and then we're out of here. All right, guys, so I'm all dressed and ready. I went with these silver Bottega earrings. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, and my brand new um, Louis Vuitton brown bag that I picked up at What Goes Around Comes Around. The same time I picked up this dress and the shoes are YSL they are also like a really dark chocolatey brown uh, let me flip you to the side so I can show you the full fit all right guys hopefully you can see me full fit vintage Jean-Paul Gaultier dress YSL brown diva sandals Louis Vuitton bag Bottega earrings And that's the look. I'm gonna call an Uber and we're gonna head downtown. And I'm ready for some doubles. Let's go. You can give them total, um, total content for free. Total content for free? <laughs> foot content for free it's actually not free you all have to give me five dollars if you watch this video through the little heart with the money symbol a gift 
no content for the frisky. No, sir. We're on our way to dinner. We're in traffic and we're probably gonna be late. a lovely birthday dinner at Omar's Kitchen with my girls, Gloria, Tanya, and also Maria joined us as well. The oxtail was bomb. Y'all, they didn't have the shrimp doubles, so I'm gonna have to get it when I come back to New York in like two weeks. Um, but it was a lovely evening. We ended up shooting a little bit of my Jean-Paul Gaultier dress. Everyone loved the dress, so shout out to what goes around comes around. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog out. It has spanned over my last day in Los Angeles, shooting a few looks and going out to dinner with the girls. Um, an event here in New York, straight off the plane with Kate Spade and Harlem's Fashion Row to celebrate the HBCU Fashion Summit with Bowie State. And then to today, shooting a little bit of birthday looks in Brooklyn followed by a dinner with the girls here in New York. Uh, but I hope you all enjoyed the video. Again, special thanks to Local European. I showed you guys their cargo pants, their metallic um, tie top, as well as their olive ca cargo skirt, which I love all three of those pieces. Um, in addition to those, I will link a few more that I'm loving from their website down below in the description box. Make sure to check them out, especially that olive green skirt. It is so good with the undone hem. Ugh, ugh, so good. And the price point on local European pieces are excellent, A1. 
Uh, so special shout out to them for sponsoring a portion of the video. Everything you have seen in today's video is linked down in the description box. Everything I wore, every place I went in LA as well as in New York. Um, all the tea, all the goods are down there. Make sure to subscribe to my newsletter to stay up to date with all the things, events that I might be having um, and such. And click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. If you are new here, which I've been getting a few new viewers. Yeah, hi, welcome. It's fun over here, so you might as well subscribe. I would love to have you be a part of the fam. All right, guys, I'm a little bit tipsy because your girl has been drinking all kinds of rums and all kinds of things, okay? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, click the notification bell, and I, the next video will also be a New York video because I still have one more day left in New York. And then it will also be my birthday video. So it's gonna be a fun one. We are gonna be on a yacht, we are gonna be having some fun. We'll do a little shopping tomorrow. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Thanks guys, bye.